also work with me as I take a mini tour into town. I am helping up and much needed coffee, which I wouldn't encourage or endorse anyone to get into. So just going to like my dance and trend. And I love, I'll show you pastures behind. We have like a lovely spot. We got to the door only to find a seagull knocking, pecking, uh, wanting some food. All right, so give me a few minutes on a few health and safety matters and comment on what's keeping you busy as well in your life at the moment. What goals are you achieving or have achieved in, um, in January? So the key topic that came to mind today was on um, procrastination and whether that's a good or healthy thing in the long term. I used to get drawn to um, procrastinating in university. It was cute. <laughs> Sorry, it was cute. It was nice. But um, on short term um, bursts. So it was nice because um, it's something that we thrived on. We lived off like procrastination. And at the time, we believed that it was something healthy that we were doing. But yeah, so we created things, we thrived on it, and we had our own tribe unknowingly <laughs> of rituals filled with calf, um, coffee and Red Bull just to help us um, get through our day. But um, so I was thinking in the long term, is um, procrastination healthy? The short term can be fun because you become, you get into our creative headspace. But the short term procrastination, let me just show you in my background, the house where I love the most. It's just random. It's just like on its own, sitting there. <laughs> okay, so um, let's talk about, oh, let me take a detour. Um, in terms of, oh, my body is saying that it's love. So I'll just talk really quickly. Procrastination can be deadly. So when I talk about three topics, I'm mainly talking about um, related to lifestyle, designing your own lifestyle and um, business as well online. And also about making the right career moves that will help you to live a fulfilled life. So where cr um, procrastination becomes a killer is um, when you are not living a fulfilled life and procrastination traps you in a place and imprisons you longer than expected and it prevents you from actually um, living purposefully in your vision. So I was one of those, I experienced it, <laughs> I lived it, I breathed it and even throughout my career when I was making decisions about um, choosing my career path, um, I normally thought that yes, um, I was in control of the situation and I was making the decisions. But in the end, I really wasn't making uh, the decisions and I knew it inside is that I was being forced to in things that were um, already predetermined, such as like um, education, such as a career path. And I was doing it as a result of feeling like, oh, this may provide the salary that I'm looking for, the income that I want. And but then there was something still missing. There was still part of me feeling trapped and even.